What was your first reaction when you read the script and you saw that it was time for them to exchange I love you's? Did you see something like that coming or was that a surprise to you? It was a surprise. I, I think, you know, and hopefully I'm not, you know, completely outing the uh, everybody here, but I, I am pretty sure that is not originally how the season was going to end. Um, I'm pretty sure they were going to end still broken up. Um, and that they, I don't know what point that changed. It might've been very early on. It might've been before we even got, you know, fully there and it was in the writer's room, but there was a point at which they weren't going to have that moment. And the breakup was the breakup. And that was how it was talked to me. I didn't know, you know, we, we, especially cause we shot that stuff so early on in the season. And then we got to, I mean, that actually was the, I love you scene was the very last scene with dialogue I filmed from season five. And it was, we rarely get to have that, you know, cause we shoot so out of order to make everything happen. I don't know how you guys I know. do that. We also typically shoot two episodes at the same time. So we're shooting episodes one and two at the same time. And then we're shooting three and four this season. We did it a little different. We only shot one and two together and then everything else was, was linear, but uh, you know, so rarely do we get to have a moment where we, um, you know, have a, a finale moment like that. I didn't know we were going to fully get there. The breakup scene was incredibly difficult for me. I actually had my my one of our PAs standing by with Gatorade because I was dehydrated because of how hard I was crying. Like in between takes, I was crying because I was just like, this is, it was so therapeutic and it was so cool and it was awesome to get to work with Shola and get to have a scene like that. But it was specifically for Sam and, and Miguel having this like, oh my God, I don't know where it goes from here. And it felt so true to where we were at. You know, it was like, I don't know what's next for us. And so having that like come together moment at the very end, I didn't really see it coming, but it felt so good to get to have it. It felt so good to just, you know, post up on that car and just be leaning there talking to him. And, and again, it was one of those moments where I looked up at him and I was like, oh my God, dude, you've grown up, you know, like I'm having this scene with you now. And I feel like I felt the same thing with Sam. I was like, holy crap, like she's grown up. Like this is, this is a moment that she could be having a first I love you. And it feels so true and not like puppy love. Yeah, it, that was the one thing about it because when it happened, like I was caught off guard. I was very surprised. And then when I revisited the journey that they had gone through in season five in particular and how mature the, the themes and the ideas that they're dealing with are, it all, it all makes, they had to go and they had to pursue their own paths and they had to come to understand what they really valued and only then could they have a successful relationship together. So it made all the sense in the world to me. Yeah, yeah I love that's, that moment. that's also <laughs> such an important message for me like that I think I could have, would have really loved to see, you know, on screen and, and it's out there, but getting to, to see it with this character that, you know, settles a lot of her battles with her fists in a way, which is we don't get to see a lot of women in, in media do, which, you know, maybe that's for the best, but uh, she figures it out, you know, but it was very, it was very cool and special to have it be the words and not just a kiss and not just like a physical hug, a holding hands, you know, that came back together, but actually like sharing those kinds of, of big words felt very grounding.